Hello, I am going to do a part two of how this uh, Yiko Drock uh, ammeter uh, capacity uh, battery management, uh, whatever you want to call it, uh, meter works. Um, so in part one, I discussed the setup, the calibration, and basic functions. In this video, I am going to discuss primarily the uh, output control on the actual uh, sensor here there is a output that can be used to control a relay or a solid state relay, a transistor, uh, to uh, interrupt your charging or your discharging of uh, your device or your battery. And so what I've done is I've got this whole mess of wires here. Let me describe what I've got going on here. This is pretty much the same setup as last time. I have a 24 volt power supply that's capable of quite a bit of current. Right now you can see that I am pulling approximately 5 amps of current. And it'll be hard to read but I'll zoom in later and this is measuring 5 amps of current. I have the uh, output of this power supply. It actually flows through this current sensor in two different directions and the direction is controlled by this big uh, bat handle switch. The output then flows to this uh, electronic load, Regal DL3021A, and then I have another power supply here which is just powering the uh, meter. The meter can be powered by what you're measuring or it can be powered independently and I'm powering it independently because I'm going to be varying the uh, voltage that it is sensing. So what uh, you might have noticed is there is a blue LED uh, right here on the very top of my uh, electronic load and that is tied to the relay output. It's lit right now which means that it is turned on and that indicator here is solid or lit indicating that this LED is on. I can turn that off. Indicator is not lit, LED goes off. So if you're using a relay you would want to use a normally open relay. And the relay is powered by the uh, you know the same voltage that is supplied to this meter and right now that is 12 volts. Okay so let's go into the setup a little bit. So we've got OVP which is over voltage protection, OPP over power protection, OCP over current protection, out OFT, which is uh, over time, OAH, which is the amp hour rating, and LOP, which um, in the manual looks like an IOP. Uh, took a little bit of experimenting, and it's actually under voltage, uh, so under voltage protection. So I, you know, this would have been made more sense if it was. Uh, UVP rather than LOP. The act active uh, indicator is this little square yellow uh, box here. I have it next to the out. If I push the OK button, uh, it should enable the system, i.e. turning on that relay, which will turn on this blue LED. There we go. And it's on the arrow is pointing to the left. That means that current is going into my simulated battery. I'll reverse the current and it turned off because it sensed a uh, drop in the voltage and I have the vo low voltage or the under voltage turned on so the you can see that the relay turned off. 
If I want to re-enable it, I push that button. So right now I have the over voltage protection turned on and the under voltage protection turned on. I can move the cursor up to the OVP, press the press and hold that button and it now says 13 volts. So if it ever sees a voltage above 13 volts it will turn off this relay. Okay, uh, you've got to push an up down button, hit OK for it to exit. Kind of a, a weird quirk. So let's turn the over voltage protection on. I'm going to come down to the under voltage protection, push and hold, and I have that set right now at 11 volts. I'm going to exit that, so I've got to push one of those buttons and push that back. So right now I am charging the battery and we can see that it's increasing. I'm pulling about five amps and we can see that I'm pulling five amps here and I'm reading uh, approximately 12 volts, 12 volts. And what I'll do is I will adjust my power supply and we will see uh, hopefully that the uh, output should turn off if we go out of that programmed range which is right is set at 11 volts and 13 volts so I will adjust my power supply and I'm adjusting the power supply down and I hit 11 volts and my relay uh, turned off. Now it will stay turned off. I'm going to come back into 12 volts. I'll have to re-enable it and now I'll go the other direction. and our relay turned off. I can also, uh, let's, uh, we can do an experiment with the uh, overcurrent protection. Uh, it's disabled right now. I'll come to the overcurrent protection. I'm going to push and hold and oh I currently have it set for 6.5 amps and I'm drawing 5 amps so let me exit, let me turn on the overcurrent protection and I will set my load to pull more current and we'll see if it triggers. So let's, oops, turn it on, re-enable re -enable the relay. Oh, it will not let me do anything right now. It's turned the relay off because it has it's sensed that I have filled my battery uh, and so what I can do is I can reset my battery go off screen hit OK come back and it's now acting like it's charging the battery again I'm, I'll be able to hit OK and I'm now going to pull more current and uh, we'll see if uh, the system shuts off. Six amps, still running. Uh, my next click will be seven amps and the relay should shut off. Here's a quick description of uh, what all the settings for the relay mean. Here's a quick example. Um, my drawing got goofed and so I'm just covering it here with uh, a little 3x5 card. Um, so if you were trying to charge or discharge a single cell 
lithium 18650 cell. Um, you typically don't ever want to charge above 4.1 volts and you don't want to discharge below 3.0 volts. Um, I would not use this charger as the sole uh, brains or smarts to charge a lithium battery but you could use this system to monitor the capacity uh, coming in and out of the battery and this could also be the uh, uh, the, the second uh, control mechanism so if there's a catastrophic problem with your charger your primary charger so what I would do is you can set the OVP for 4.1 volts and you could set the LOP for 3.0 volts and while the battery is charging uh, the voltage is going to be increasing across the battery and if it ever sees more than 4.1 volts the relay will disconnect and while you're discharging the battery um, you don't you would want to never go below that 3.0 volts and you could set the LOP for 3.0 volts and that would work um, you can also set the uh, OCP the over current protection the way you set the amp hour capacity of the system is with the OAH and say for example if your battery is 12 volts and uh, they say that it's one amp hour what you would do is move the cursor down to the OAH uh, hold that down and you can see that I already have it set for one amp hour and I just have that set to a really small number so I can demonstrate easily the battery filling and discharging uh, we'll push enter and then we'll enable it and we can see right now that the battery is it's saying is full and that's why the indicator here is not uh, asserted or lit because it's you shouldn't put any more power into the battery so let me turn down my charging current to say 5 amps and I am going to reset the capacity again by going off screen hit OK and we'll reset the system my battery is now charging since my capacity is only set at 1 amp hour and we're charging at 5 amps um, this bar is going to fill pretty fa uh, fast it uh, is indicating that the you know the battery is not fully charged and it starts out with red uh, at some point in time here this will change to green as it charges more we can see that the uh, capacity and amp hour numbers are increasing if I quickly now my switch uh, goes uh, off before it reverses the current and so if I don't switch this fast enough it's going to shut off the charging mechanism so we'll change, try to do it really fast no nope, couldn't do it <laughs> so let me re-enable and we can now see that current is flowing out of the system and my watt hours and amp hours are now uh, decreasing well that's about it uh, hopefully this is a quick little video and uh, hopefully it will answer a few questions that people have asked me uh, concerning how the relay works and uh, if I discover any more information about how this uh, guy is set up uh, maybe I'll make another video that's about it thank you